Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fabulous infinity cube. We are going to be using our picture perfect pads and also our fabulous moonstone dies. So first of all you need to take your large die, place it face down onto your cardstock and tape it. Just use a couple of pieces of our low tap tape and then you need to pass this through your chosen die cutting machine. Once you've cut your shape you will see that you have tabs around some of the edges. This is where you will apply your tape. You will also have pre-scored lines. There's a top tip here for you. If you feel like you want to score it a little deeper in the lines, you can use your adorable scoreboard to do that just so that you get a nice crease. Once you have creased along your score lines, you need to add our high tack tape to each of the tabs. Once you've done this, then you can start to assemble your box. So taking our pokey tool and I'm going to remove the backing from the red tape. To complete the box you will need to cut eight cubes. Start to remove the tape and then you can place your box together. Don't remove all your backing tape at once, this will prevent you getting in a little bit of a tangle. Make sure you press firmly along the tabs to ensure it stays together. If you want to use wet glue, you can also use wet glue, but you would need to peg or use masking tape to hold the cube in place to allow the glue to dry. two tabs in place. So we can now add some pressure to each of the edges where we've taped the tabs in place just to make sure it holds securely. And there you have a completed cube. You now need to repeat this another seven times and then you can start to put the cube together. Once you have constructed all eight of your boxes need to lay out all eight cubes in two rows of four. Using our 40 millimeter wide low tack tape, we need to attach the tape horizontally to create four groups of two. And again, you'll be able to see this on your instructions. So cut your high tack tape long enough to be able to reach across two of the cubes and repeat this four times so that we then have four lots of two cubes. And again if you feel like you have um, not got it quite even, because it's low tack tape you can actually peel it off and reposition it. If you haven't got the low tack tape then you can use just a regular sticky tape. If it's thinner um, or only approximately a centimetre in width then you may need to use two strips to prevent the cubes from falling apart from each other. So now we have our eight cubes taped together. Now we need to turn all eight of the boxes onto their sides so that the tape is facing you. So we just line them up again, almost like a little brick wall, and then we start to add more tape. This time we are going to add a piece of tape across this section here. 
So cut a piece of tape to measure approximately three inches and then we are going to place this across the top two center boxes. Press the tape down each time making sure it's nice and firm. Now we need to turn it over and repeat this on the other side. So this time the cubes will face away from you, so the tape will be on the opposite side and we are going to place a piece of tape along these two. And if you find it easier to do one cube with the tape and then hold the second one in place while you have the tape to that, that's fine to do that as well. So once you've done this, we need to lay the cubes flat so that the side you have taped in the third step is now facing downwards, like that. And then now we're going to add two vertical pieces onto the end sections here. So again, if you prefer, you can put it onto one cube and then hold the second cube in place. And again, repeat with the tape on the opposite end. Press your tape down firmly and there you go. So now we need to turn the cube over so that the side that we taped in step five is now facing down. So this is going to go right over the other way like that. Now we need to fold the left and the right side of the cubes into the center so that the cubes are now in the starting position like that. So now what we need to do, we need to take our chosen image and for this um, video we're going to use the Picture Perfect It's a Cat's Life image. So we put the box to one side and we're going to take the image here. Now there are two options, what you can do here is you can place your image right on top of the box itself and then cut in between the panels or you can cut it on the mat and then apply your panels separately so that's what I'm going to do. So this measures roughly 4 by 4 inches, so I'm just going to line it up on my mat and I'm going to take my cutting knife and my hunky dory ruler using the metal edge against the blade and I'm going to cut it into quarters. If you want to at this point, if you don't want to use a topper, you can use photographs, you can use a stamped image, it's entirely up to you. Next, you will need to cut these two halves into half again to create four squares. And you can either measure these or use your cutting mat as a guide. Once your four squares are cut, you can bring the cube back onto the mat. And we're going to place the four squares onto the cube to check that they line up. Once you're happy with them, you can start to glue them in place. I'm using our construction glue as it dries quite quickly and it also helps to hold the low tack tape in place. Press it down firmly lining it up with the corners and then you can repeat this with all four of your squares.
once the whole of the top section is covered like this you can leave it to dry for a minute before moving on to the next section. So now you need to open the right and the left sections simultaneously to reveal the next area to be covered. And you can cover these areas with either two 4x4 images or eight 2x2 images. If I bring my cube back into the shot, you'll see that I've used two of the 4x4 images and I've cut each of them into quarters like I did with the first section. On the next panels, I've mixed it up a little by placing the 4x4 image in the centre and adding the 2x2s at the edges. The next section will reveal another 4x4 inch image which was cut into quarters. We open the cube further and you will see eight images. The final section of the cube reveals the 4x4 image in the centre and the 2x2s at the top and bottom. One more fold brings us back to the beginning. If you prefer, you can put any of your favourite photos to cover the cube or you can use images from any of our previous Picture Perfect pads. It's a really clever project to make and it's also a fun project to give to someone. Both children and adults will enjoy folding it continuously. It can be quite addictive. OK, so let's show you some other fun ways to use the cube. You could create some animal building blocks. Simply by using one of the cubes and adding some little embellishments, you can create a donkey, a duck, a chicken and a cow. Your children will love building these on top of one another and then knocking them all down again. Or you can take a look at our little love cube. In the die set there are aperture frames which enable you to create photo pockets. What a great little wedding or anniversary gift. How about making some Christmas decorations to hang in your tree? You can use, just use them to hang as a decoration or fill them with truffles as a little treat. One of our creative team members has made this fabulous calendar. She's also used some of our memory book dies and our number dies and our stamps too. They can also be cleverly stored in this little box for display. How about making a lovely welcome sign? The diamonds on the top are the squares cut from the frames so there's no waste here. What a great new home present for someone. Or why not even use it to welcome a new baby? Or you could even add someone's name to make it really personal. Thank you for watching this video. For more inspiration go to the Hunky Dory Hub at www.hunkydorycrafts.co.uk